Hello, Grade 5. We are now in our Week 3 to 4 with our English 5 Quarter 1 Context Clues. So, welcome back to our class. Our learning competency infer the meaning of unfamiliar words affixed based on a given context clues, synonyms, antonyms, word parts, and other strategies. Context clues understanding a sentence or text is essential to have the full grasp of the information embedded in it. Context clues embedded in a sentence or text help in comprehending the meaning in it expresses. Through context clues, words are associated to get the meaning of the unfamiliar text or the whole statement. You are expected to infer meaning of unfamiliar words based on context clues, locate the meaning of unfamiliar words, and analyze unfamiliar words based on context clues. So let us examine the picture. What do you think is the profession of these people? How did you know it? Maybe you know it because they are wearing their scrub suits, their stethoscope as doctor, they are wearing masks, and maybe because of their uniform. Is that right? Yes. So, context clues are important words or phrases in a sentence that helps in identifying the meaning of a difficult word or items in a sentence. They provide further information about a word or phrase that helps the reader understand its meaning. Context refers to the parts of a piece of writing that precede or follow a word and contributes to its whole meaning. There are different types of context clues which includes the following. Number one, synonym or restatement clue. It is a type of context clue that provides the synonyms of words to provide the meaning of an unfamiliar word or words. For example, love is shouts continuously or all the time and it makes me uncomfortable. The manager felt remorse or shame for hiring some incompetent employees. So note that the words in yellow are the difficult terms and the underlined word are their synonyms. So, dito sa ating example number one, lovey shouts continuously. So, continuously is the different difficult word or yung mahirap na salita. And yung underlined word niya is the synonym. Ay, o yung salitang kasing kahulugan sa ating Filipino. So, continuously, ang ibig sabihin niya ay all the time. So, Lovey shouts all the time and it makes me uncomfortable. Laging sumisigaw si Lovey. Ganon. Continuous. Ibig sabihin, tuloy-tuloy all the time. Ayan. Sa pangalawang halimbawa, the manager felt remorse. So, what is remorse? Remorse is the difficult term in this sentence. So, ano yung remorse? The underlined word is shame. So, shame. Ano ba yung shame? The manager felt remorse or shame for hiring some incompetent employees. Ayan. Remorse, ibig sabihin yan, ito sa na-underlined na word ay, ay shame. Ayan. Actually, yung shame ay medyo mahirap pa para sa inyo mga grade 5. So, sa Tagalog ay nakakahiya. The manager felt remorse. O, naramdaman ng manager, nakakahiya. Yun yung naramdaman ng manager nung nag-hire daw siya ng mga incompetent employees. Incompetent employees, yung mga hindi masyadong nagpe-perform, 
uh, siguro lazy, gano'n. Mga tamad, gano'n. So, yun yung paliwanag dyan sa synonym or restatement clue. The second one is definition or statement clue. It is a type of context clue that provides direct statement or meaning of the unfamiliar words. For example, ossicles are the three small bones in the middle ear. Anton's voice is inaudible. No one could hear it. So note again that the yellow, the words in yellow are the difficult terms and the underlined words are their meaning. So we have here for the first example, ossicles. So what is ossicles? Or what are ossicles? They are the three small bones in the middle ear. And it is a part of your middle ear. Yan sa ating loob ng ating tenga. And then, Anton's voice is inaudible. Inaudible, hindi marinig. No one could hear it. Ayan. So, the context clue in the sentence, the me or the meaning of the word that that is difficult is in the sentence itself. Kasi meron siyang context clue. Kagaya na ating mga examples. Andun na yung difficult word, pero sa... Sentence itself, nandun yung context clue. Nandun din yung kanyang meaning. Kaya sinasabi, tinatawag na clue. Ayan. The third one is antonym or contrast clue. It is a type of context clue that tells the opposite meaning of the difficult word. It shows contrast. For example, Japoy is gregarious, unlike his shy sister. Next, the feral dog would scratch the wall unlike the friendly cat. Ayan, so dito naman sa number 3, antonym naman. Kanina sa synonyms kasing kahulugan. For number 3, ito naman yung kabaliktaran ang ibig sabihin. Contrast or antonym. So, for this example, Japoy is gregarious. The word gregarious is the difficult term. And the underlined word is the opposite meaning or the antonym. Ayan. Ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng gregarious? O, opposite ng shy. Mahiyain. O, yung gregarious, siguro walang hiya. <laughs> walang hiya. Okay, kasi kabaligtaran ng mahiyain. And then, the next one is the feral dog would scratch the wall unlike the friendly cat. So, feral is the opposite or the antonym of friendly. Oh, diba, pag sinasabing friendly, uh, palakaibigan. O, oh, ano ba ang kabaliktaran ng palakaibigan? Yung feral. Okay, siguro yung dog na yon ay hindi palakaibigan. Siguro laging galit sa mga kapwa aso o kaya pusa lagi inaaway yung pusa at saka mga kapwa aso okay yun yung mga example dito sa antonym or contrast clue and number 4 explanation or example clue it is a type of context clue that provides readers with varying examples to allow them fully examine the unfamiliar words Words like including, such, such as, and for example, point out example clues. Ayan, ito naman kapag nag explain For example, like this one. Mammals, including cows, carabaos, and horses are helpful animals. Next example. As a country in the Pacific Ring of Fire, the Philippines always experience different natural calamities such as typhoons, earthquakes, and tsunamis. Okay, so in number four, explanation or example clue. Like what I am doing now. I am explaining to you each and every example of context clues. So for the example number four, mammals. So, what does what the word mammals mean? Ayan. For example, 
Ito. Cows, carabals, horses. Those are the examples of mammals. They are the animals that are helpful. And mammals means yung mga animals na kagaya ng tao. Uh, dumidede yung mga anak. Ayan, yun yung isang isipin yung pinakahalimbawa ng mammals. Uh, ang mga tao are the highest form of mammals, sabi nga. And so, lahat ng animals na nagpapadede sa kanila mga babies are called mammals. Ayan. So, as a country in the Pacific Ring of Fire, natural calamities, ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng natural calamities? So, eto, yan mga example. Sabi nga dito sa ating uh, explanation or example clue, ginagamitan siya ng salitang such as, for example, including, yung mga ganon. Uh, yun yung mga clue na makukuha mo na meaning ng salitang mahirap. Mahirap intindihin. Kagaya ng mammals at natural calamities. So, what is meant by cal natural calamities? Ayan, nakalagay na dyan. Such as, Typhoons. Ayan yung mga natural calamities natin sa Pilipinas. Typhoons, yung mga bagyo, earthquakes, lindol, tsunamis. Ayan, nung nagka Yolanda, nagka-tsunami sila, kaya uh, masyadong maraming namatay doon. Kasi tabing dagat sila, lumaki ang uh, dagat, nagka-tsunami sila. Yun, yun ang mga example ng mga uh, explanation or example clue. Ayan, tandaan lang lagi yung mga clue na including, such as, and for example, ayan, kagaya ng pag explain ko. Okay, so, number five, cause and effect are reason result clue. It is a type of context clue that explains the reason and the result of an event or action. Words like because, since, therefore, thus, so, etc. may signal context clues. And for this example, the city government has implemented the community quarantine because experts want to stop or slow down the increase in the number of COVID-19 cases. So, this is cause and effect. And the word in yellow is the difficult word. The quarantine. So, alam na alam na natin yan dahil lagi natin naririnig ang mga quarantine. M-E-C-Q, E-C-Q, marami pang C-Q, C-Q. Yung Q doon, yun yung quarantine. And the underlined word is the meaning. Ayan, quarantine. What is the meaning of quarantine? Ayan, why? Why did the city government has implemented the community quarantine? Because the experts want to stop or slow down the increase in the number of COVID-19 cases. So, yun yung yun yung cause and effect. Ayan. Ang cause kasi niya or yung dahilan kasi ng quarantine ay para uh, mas stop or mas slow down yung pagtaas ng kaso ng COVID-19 dito sa Pilipinas. Yun yung halimbawa dito sa cause and effect or reason result. Ang clue lagi dito na makikita nyo ay yung mga words na because. O dito sa ginamit sa example, because. Pero marami pang iba, kagaya ng since, therefore, thus, so, and mar marami pa. And number six, comparison or sameness clue. It is a type of context clue that presents the similarities in meaning or context. Words used are like, as, similar to, in the same way, likewise, resembling, to, and also. So, those are the words or the clue words for the comparison and sam sameness clue. For example, I love the palette of menudo like my brother who loves the taste of a frittada. So, what is meant by palate? Palate. Okay. So, taste. Comparison and sameness. Ito, sa unang example, in, uh, kinocompare niya 
yung uh, menudo at saka afritada na uh, gusto daw niya yung menudo kagaya ng pagkagusto rin ng kanyang brother sa lasa or taste ng afritada yan, sameness or comparison and the next example is Ethan is fond of mountain escapade the same way with Joy who goes on beach adventure so the word in yellow is the difficult term again and the underlined words are their definitions so kaparehas lang ng escapade yung adventure kaya dito sa ating number 6 comparison or sameness sameness pagkakapareho Ayan. So, tandaan lang ulit yung mga um, context clue na kagaya ng uh, like, as, uh, similar to, in the same way, likewise, resembling to, and also. Yun yung mga uh, context clue or word clue para dito sa comparison or sameness clue. Okay pa. And for the last one, last but not the least, inference or general text clue. It is a type of context clue that provides the meaning of unfamiliar words that can be inferred or guessed from the description of the situation. The author provides non-specific clues often spread over the sentence or number of sentence. So, for example, I wish I had earplugs to avoid vehicles' vociferous noise. So, the difficult word here is vociferous. What is meant by vociferous? So, we have the underlined words, I wish I had earplugs to avoid vehicles' vociferous noise. So, na inference na to, inference. According to the sentence, ayan, Merong mga clue sa sentence na nakakalat lang dun sa uh, isang sentence. Yung mahirap na salita, makikita mo rin yung ibig sabihin dito sa mismong sentence. Kagaya ng, I wish I had earplugs. Ayan. And for the next example, The administrator's belligerence led to the death of four innocent children. So, ano bang ibig sabihin ng belligerence? Nakalagay din dyan mismo sa sentence. In, nandyan yung inference. Nandyan yung inference pagka ikaw ay nagbabasa. Oh, the meaning is, under, sa naka-underline na salita, death of four innocent children. So, makukuha mo yung ibig sabihin ng difficult words kasi meron din dyan. Nandyan mismo sa sentence na binigay. Yan yung context clue na inference or general text clue. Ayan. Sana nakukuha ninyo mga bata ang aking mga paliwanag para hindi naman masayang ang aking pag explain dito sa aking video. Ayan. So, punta na tayo sa ating learning task. Hindi na ako masyadong mag-explain dyan kasi kayo naman ang magsasagot ng inyong mga gawain or learning task. So, uh, you can read it on your own with your modules. And then, pwede nyo balikan yung mga inexplain ko kapag medyo hindi nyo makuha yung sagot sa inyong mga ginagawa. So, until next time, this is Mom Chris, your teacher online. Goodbye! Goodbye, class! Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something. Bye.